Hi, welcome to Crate Rock Talk video. My name's Finbar. Today I'll be running you through the whole range of crate amps and showing you how you can pull sounds like the stars. All these amps are capable of any sound possible and hopefully today I'll be able to show you how to do that. We'll be going through the whole crate range from the GX15 right through to the big babies, the GT200 head. Okay, the GT80 DSP. This little amp here is an 80 watt four channel amp with built in DSP, which stands for Digital Signal Processing. The amp contains all the, all the digital reverbs, delays, combinations of delays, reverbs, reverse gated reverbs that you'd ever possibly need. All very easily selectable and assignable to each channel, now each of the four channels. This amp uh, incorporates valve state technology far superior to any of the other valve state models on the market because it contains three valves in the preamp. One is for the actual gain stage and one is for the reverb section as well as one that goes for the EQ section. Now having a valve EQ um, gives it a lot warmer sound, a lot stronger sustain, not as raspy as some of the other models. Some of them sound quite good down low but when you start to crank them they sound really raspy. That's where Crate really has taken it on and forged a new era in amplification with the GT80 DSP models. Okay, uh, I'm going to quickly run through some of the amps features. Channel 1 uh, of the four channels. I'm looking at a uh, solid state uh, distortion stage and what I have selected on it is um, a delay setting. Now, have a listen to the, the bottom end and the warmth I'm getting out of this amp. Okay. That is using a, a delay setting. Now by switching the foot switch on the floor, it'll instantly go to a reverb or any particular uh, effect that you want to set up in it. Now if I go and select a reverb on this, now that it has 36 different presets in here, I'm going to go and, and select one of them. You can hear that's a reverb. Okay. By, me, by my selection on that, it instantly stores it so I don't have to worry about setting parameters, writing names for patches setting up different rack units, having foot pedals on the floor. Instantly when I change the channel, the effect is automatically stored. Being very user friendly and very easy to operate. Not confusing a lot of the guys that sort of don't know how to, how to run the rack technology. Also one great feature is when you're on stage, if you have a preset stored in your rack effect, it is very, very hard if your levels are all over the place to go and set it up again if you're playing. You have to go in, press parameter, go through all the different effects and chains and levels and store it, write it. With this all you have to do is go over and take the volume down of the effect. So it's very, very easy to use live as well. They've thought about all that technology. That's why it, it has one amp of the year at NAM. Okay, just going quickly to the clean section. Um, this is the clean solid state section. On this I have um, set up a delayed setting, quite loud in the mix. Now I use that for a nice tapping delay sound, which is again, the versatility from going from this sound to a, the distortion sound I just had is pretty amazing. Okay. going from a sound like that to, again, hitting the reverb button on the floor. Now have a nice long reverb. Great for some nice picking things. Or some tapping things. big monster ballad and go into a huge rock sound. Okay, little 80 watt combo, very easy to carry. It also can be plugged into a quad box for live purposes, so it suits a lot of the people that are doing small restaurants, clubs, and also the guys that want to do the big rock gigs. Also, the guys that want to do the big rock gigs, great for rehearsal and great for practicing at home. Okay, so that's the GT80 DSP, the amazing new wonder amp from Crate. Now we come to the Crate GX15. Why do I sound so excited? That's because I am. Now the GX15 is a little baby of the crate range, but yet it still is an awesome little amp. It has a lot of great features on the GX15, which make it, well, let it stand apart from anything else in the, in the marketplace at its price point. It's not just um, aimed at an entry level sort of instrument, it is also um, great for the professional musician who wants a backstage amp, um, it has a huge sound, and it's also great for home recording. One of the great features about the GX15, it has a speaker output on it. 
which um, is just situated at the top of the um, top right hand corner of the amp. Now the speaker output can be used for a lot of things. It can be plugged into a quad box for guys that sort of have got quite a big setup at home. They don't want to sort of have a don't want to have the neighbours ringing up the police or whatever. It also is great straight into a four track. You can record straight out of the GX15 straight into a four track with your speaker output. So it has a lot of different possibilities as well as just a little basic practice amp. Now just have a listen to this. What we have is um, obviously the clean sound. <laughs> quite a great clean sound. Back to their distortion sound, which Crater are renowned for, is a great distortion sound, obviously. Okay, so Crate GX15. Little wonderful amp, um, has many functions, don't forget that. It's not just a basic practice amp, it's also a great practice amp, great for, for a cheap home recording setup. GX15. <laughs>series of amps. Okay, what I'm playing through is the GX80 model. This is an 80 watt amp, obviously, GX80. Two channels and it contains um, Crate's now famous shape matrix circuitry. What the shape matrix circuitry is all about, it's on the distortion st stage, so what I'm going to do is just foot switch the distortion setting. The shape matrix cir circuitry is uh, a variable EQ point where the low and high frequencies work. And now what that actually means in, in standard layman's terms is you can get anything from uh, a Marshall sound to a thrashy transistor sound to a pretty warm boogie sound just by the just by the shape, just by the turn of the shape matrix because the low and high end works differently each time you turn it. Now I'll just give you an example. I'm gonna play just a chord. Okay, let me turn the shape matrix. changes the way your amp sounds. Now with vary varying your high and low end with your shape matrix you can pretty well pull any sound you want. So you can set up any sound you want in a little tiny 80 watt amp which is very very powerful for its size and also very very reasonable in terms of price. So it's a channel switching uh, 80 watt amp, contains uh, an imminent speaker US made. Um, it has a line in and line out for uh, either recording or you can also run your effects in, in that as an like a, a variable effects loop. Um, you've also heard the clean sound, it has a, a reverb function on it as well. It also has a um, your push bright switch which works on, on your clean channel. On the top here we have the GX60 which is roughly the same as the GX80 except it has a little bit uh, different EQ circuitry, it just has the um, shape matrix as well as your gain and level so you can still pretty well pull quite a wide variety of sounds in a 60 watt small package. There we go, that's the little GX series. Okay, GT50 Stealth Combo. What we have here is a uh, three-channel valve combo amp. It's all valve, solid valve. It, um, being th in the fact that it is three-channel, you've got quite a wide variety of sounds available to you. You have a, your clean tube sound, obviously. Uh, you have a crunch tube sound and your over-the-top solo tube sound. Okay, I'm just going to demonstrate those. Each uh, channel has its own reverb control, so you can actually set up the amount of reverb that you want on your clean channel um, and your dirt channel. A lot of guys, as you will know, you, uh, the dirt channel needs a lot less sort of reverb than your clean channel. So therefore they've given you that option as well. Okay, going through it, what I have here is just uh, the actual gain crunch sound. So it's just your sort of chord sound. Okay, now by me kicking in the foot switch, the extra gain stage on here, I've wound it quite high. It'll give you sort of an over-the-top sound, whether you want to use an over-the-top sort of rock metal sound or uh, a solo sound, you can set it up at both. You can hear the amount of gain coming in there. It's got a huge amount of sing too, so that's obviously the valves working. Okay, um, so you can cut that in and out. You can set up your levels on stage for how much solo boost you want and how much crunch sound you want. You have quite a wide uh, range of selection on your, your crunch sound as well. I've got it wound right back, so the sounds you're hearing there... <laughs> 
quite a wound back sound. I'm just using just a little bit of gain, but you can get it, get it set up very heavy like the, uh, the lead sound I had and still use the lead sound for a boost. Okay, uh, going to the clean channel of the amp. This is a very, very clean channel. Now, a lot of amps suffer from this. They have a great grunge sound, but they have no good clean sound. Now, the GD50 in the stealth heads and combos both incorporate great technology so you can get a, a really nice bright clean sound as well. This is using the clean circuit of the amp. Now I can set up a lot more reverb on that if I want. So again, you can go from that sound to a good crunch rock sound to a good over the top silo sound. Again, in a little combo size, still being 50 watts, which is quite ample enough for most gigs. Or if you want, we can look up here into the blue skies up here and look at the, uh, the, the this is the uh, head version of the GD50. Um, again, featuring all the, all the same features as the, as the one I just talked about. All the stealths also feature an extra input, which is an auxiliary in. Now that can be used for jamming with a tape deck or, or um, putting one of your favourite backing tracks in so you can practice at home with. has quite a few great little features on it. Uh, all foot switchable three channels. That's the 50 watt version, then we have the 100 watt version down here. So they've cornered a market in, in the fact that they have a three channel all valve amp with separate reverb controls, uh, foot switchable technology and also an auxiliary in. So that's the babies, the old stealths, the new crate wonder kids. <laughs> Okay, the Crate GT200 head and combo. Now these are the brand new flagships basically of the Crate range. They're a true stereo amp in the fact that they have two amplifiers built into them. They have uh, two 100 watt amps built into the, um, the combo and the head version. Obviously the combo has two speakers and is a stereo amp. Okay, what it has on the amp, it has a stereo chorus, which works again, true stereo, and it has an expander, expander function, which I will go through in a minute. The amp is also four channel, very similar to the GD80 that I went through before. It has the uh, tube circuitry as well as the solid state circuitry. Now I know I've sort of run through a little bit of that before, so I'll just go through to the uh, chorus and the reverb and the expander section. On the dirty channel I'm running here, uh, if I take the expander out, I'll give you a listen to the sound. This is just the dirty sound here without the expander. Now I'm going to hit it in in the middle of my playing. With the chorus off, you'll hear a, a lot more of a difference. What it's doing there is expanding the chorus. This is just expanding the straight dry sound. So you can hear the expander working there. Obviously, you can combine that with the chorus and the reverb. Now, the chorus has its own functions for rate and depth, so you can get from a radical sort of chorus. taking the rate back, you just fatten out the sound. Now if I go to a clean channel, you'll hear the chorus in its true uh, definition. Okay, this is uh, running again the chorus, through the chorus. A lot more rate on it. By dropping it back a bit, you get a, a fuller sound. Again with the expander. Obviously the tube circuitry is available to that to give it a warmer valve sound. Now the rhythm section has its own EQ separate to the lead section. So by just boosting up some of the bottom end, you hear a lot warmer sort of sound. That's with the valves. Okay, so that's basically running through the chorus section, the expander section, which is built into the two, it was, it's a true stereo amp. A lot of amps say they're stereo, but this contains two actual amp stages in it, so it is a true amplifier. It also comes with um, four amps in the actual preamp circuit. It has a, also a valve driven uh, effects loop, so you can run stereo effects with it. It also has um, double line outs on the combo, so you can run it into two quads if you want, same as the head. 
Crate also provide the, fu uh, the function in all their quad boxes to have a true stereo quad in the one quad box, which is behind me here. They have two inputs, so the quad is actually split down the centre and you can run the, any of these heads with the stereo effects into a stereo quad as well. Same with the combo if you do want to run the combo into a quad. So there we go, that's the old GT200. Alrighty, oh, here we go. What, what this little section is for is uh, to hopefully let you know how to set the amp up and how to get the sounds that I've been using today. Okay, first off we're looking at the GX80. This also applies for basically the GX60. Um, the gain control is right the way up to the full. The level variable depending on how loud you want the amp. The low section I normally wind right up so it increases the bottom end, makes the amp sound a bit fatter. The shape control, that's purely personal choice but I have it roughly around about 9. The high control is roughly on 3 so it's not too raspy in the top end. Clean channel, um, the volume control again variable. The low end, again I wind up the low end on most of the amps, take the mids halfway or a little bit below halfway, high is roughly around 4 and the reverb on about 7. Uh, that's pretty well straight. The bright switch is on here. That's uh, for if you're on stage at night and you can't see the amp, you can hit that and you can see the amp. It's really awesome. Or if, you, if you've got someone, a friend or a band member who hasn't got any brains, you can hit that and they'll instantly get brains. No, really all it does is just add a bit of top end. So that's the bright switch. Also um, included on some of the other crate models. GX80. Hi. Welcome to another episode of how to make your amp sound totally awesome. Now we have the GX15. I pretty well turn everything on this up 10, because it doesn't go to 11. No, seriously. I, um, again with the uh, GX15 what I do is normally wind the gain control, which is the first control, up around about full. Around about full. And I, uh, again the volume setting is purely personal. It's very straightforward with the EQ. Normally I wind the bottom end up, take the middles out a little bit, and on the clean channel just set the volume where you want. There you go, couldn't ask for anything simpler. That's the GX15. Alrighty-o. Okay, so we just talked about two of the models, the GX80 and the GX15. Just a very quick uh, word on setting up the crate range of amplifiers. I think you'll find the best way to do is, uh, best way to set them up is in the distortion stage. Get the gain circuit, wind that up full if you want a very heavy sound. Um, if you've got a four channel amp, like the GD80, what I tend to prefer to do is to get the tube section of it and wind the gain back a little bit, around about halfway. That'll give you a good crunch sound. Then when you go to your, your, your other channel, you've got a very good solo sound. I always normally boost the bottom end, pull the mids out, and have the, the top end running around about five. Uh, what that does is, again, increase the bottom end and gives it a, a lot warmer sound. Um, with the DSP circuitry, I talked about on the earlier model of the GT80, I'll, of, I'll often find that, you know, just it's personal preference finding the, the levels and the effects that you want. Don't forget, once you've automatically selected them, they're stored in memory. Um, everything else is very straightforward. On the GT50s with the three channel head, turn on channel two, the gain one round about halfway and gain two up full as this. What this does is on your crunch channel, it gives you a good crunch rock and roll sound and on when you kick in your, your third channel or the super lead sound what it does it gives you a lot more sustain when you wind it up full. That's pretty well it in terms of setting up the amplifiers. Um, any further queries you can contact your, your crate dealer or you can contact your crate distributor and they'd more, be more than happy to help. Well thanks for tuning in to uh, Crate Rock Talk. Uh, my name's Finbar and just a quick little last word on the amps. I just wanted to say that something I didn't mention before, Crate offer a five, two year warranty uh, period. It's five years on the amp, two years on the speaker. Um, the Crate amps all have eminent speakers which are made in the USA. All the amps are made in the USA by St. Louis Music. Crate also have roughly 80 amps in the range covering bass amps, keyboard amps, PAs. They're a very, very large company with a very, very good reputation. That's why they offer such a great warranty period far in excess of any other amp manufacturer on the market. Um, you know, just one little point again on the, on the Crate Amps, you've got to remember Crate have won basically out of the last three out of five years Amp of the Year at NAMM. So it just shows the commitment to quality and commitment to um, designing a product that's new and innovative. So I just stress that Crate is definitely here for the long haul and they are definitely making a product which is by far up and above anything else in the marketplace. So keep them a serious consideration for your next Amp purchase or for any Amps in the future. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.